Hey guys, so I'm back with another review. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review of this 409 multi-surface spray cleaner. I never do reviews of spray cleaners and I thought maybe I should start. Um, I went into the store to get the Lysol Lemon Breeze spray and when I went to get that I saw this and of course, you know, I had to smell it, so I did, and it, I, in my opinion, it smelled a lot better, and it's supposed to also kill germs and disinfect, so I thought I'd give it a try, and a few things I want to mention before I start. Number one is my sink has a leak still. Um, I actually had, my uncle is a plumber, so I had him come over to look at it, and, uh, surprisingly enough, when he got here, um, the sink didn't leak for that whole day. So, you know, he jokes around and he's like, oh, you're, you're just seeing stuff, you're hallucinating. So then, of course, he leaves, and then later that night, I see it dripping again. So I'm going to have to have him come back and now I have photographic evidence of it leaking. Second thing is I want to show you guys how dirty my sink is. Um, I haven't cleaned this sink in two days and so there's like some nasty stuff going on but I also have been purposely washing my hands and like getting soap everywhere so that there will be soap scum <laughs> like this was so hard uh, for me not to clean like look how disgusting I mean there is like nasty soap build up and just like muck everywhere so I got this sink really dirty for the sole purpose of seeing how well this cleaner works because you guys liked it so much when I did the Fabuloso comparison video and I had a dirty sink before I started so I haven't cleaned my sink in two days for you guys so now I'm going to shut up and I'm going to get started I'm really sorry if this leak is going to bother anybody because I'm sure that it's really bothering me. Um, but hopefully that will be fixed today or tomorrow. That's why I haven't really been making any ASMR videos in the sink. I do want to make more in the kitchen sink, but the only problem is it's just more quiet in the bathroom here. So, I don't want to go out into the kitchen and kind of tell everybody to shut up, so. But I will start doing more kitchen sink videos because when I did that, you guys seemed to like it. So, it has, where is it? It has this little nozzle that you can lock and unlock. It turns on and off. So, I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to spray. Let's read the directions, shall we? Okay, directions for use. General cleaning, spray product straight onto soils and wipe clean with a dry paper towel or lint-free cloth. Repeat for heavily soiled areas. Um, to disinfect, here it is. <clears throat> spray until thoroughly wet, let stand 10 minutes, then wipe, okay. Just like most other disinfectants, it needs to sit for 10 minutes. So when you're disinfecting something, you really want to get the surface um, as wet as you can. I'm also going to close this drain because it will help the product stay in there and stay wet. You want to try to get every inch of it that you can, like try to get up under here. And like I said, you really want to try and get it wet because to disinfect the surface, it needs to stay wet for the full 10 minutes. 
So even if you have to come back and spray some more, then you gotta do it if you want all the germs to be gone. So I'm gonna let that sit and then I will be back in a second. Okay, so I'm back. I have left this to sit for 10 minutes. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say, but it smells really nice. Um, I forgot to mention that it's a lemon scent, but you probably saw that when I first showed you the bottle. It also shows you that you can use it on all these different surfaces, which is good. Like I said, it smells really nice. Um, I got this instead of the Lysol, like I said, so it was a little bit more expensive. Um, probably like 50 cent to a dollar more expensive, but same amount of product um, so hopefully it works better or at least just as well um, I am going to give it a quick spray one more time oh and when I that's what I wanted to say when I tell you that the surfaces have to stay wet to be disinfected um, I don't mean that you have to stand there and watch it to make sure that it stays wet the whole time I mean you can walk away for a few minutes come back and if you notice that it's starting to dry up in some areas just give it a quick spray again and that's that so let's see how this cleaner works i'm gonna spray my sponge okay we've got some good suds going on I'm going to start with my tap. Typically you have to have an already clean surface to disinfect. Like if something is very heavily soiled or really dirty, kind of like my sink right now, you typically want to um, do a quick wipe over first. Clean it as much as you can and then then come back and disinfect because you cannot disinfect a dirty surface and cleaning does not disinfect. A lot of people don't know this but you know um, multi-purpose cleaners unless they say on the label that they kill germs and disinfect they do not. So cleaning doesn't disinfect and disinfecting does not clean. So I usually do both because you guys know that I'm crazy about certain scents and most disinfectants do not come in those scents. So I typically will clean with something and then disinfect and then if I'm, you know, uh, if I really want to keep going and I want the surface to smell really nice, I sometimes will go back in with the scented stuff and a clean paper towel and uh, after I've disinfected, just go back in with something that smells good and just leave that on the surface so I can smell it throughout the day or however long it lasts. So um, this is a scrubber sponge, but it's, I like these because I like ripping sponges apart and tearing them up and um, it is a, a scour sponge with a scouring pad, but these ones are from Walmart, they're the Walmart brand, and the scours are like really kind of flimsy. Um, I don't know if I can show you, but like they're not as hard as other scourers. So it get, gives a tiny bit of abrasion, but it's not um, as abrasive as most. So this is not doing much in terms of um, like abrasive scrubbing. I probably could just use the other side and have the same effect. I think I'm going to do that with this side just to see. Yep, comes right off. So
so for actual like dirt and muck removal and cleaning, I would say that this is working really well. Now another thing I like to do is scrub this drain area because some cleaners just leave a nasty kind of residue on it. Um, this is not. This is shining it up, so that's good. And I'm about done scrubbing, so I will rinse this off, and I will be right back when I'm done. Okay, so here we have the finished result. Um, if you ask me, it is so much cleaner. Um, in my opinion, this cleaner works really well. It's a big plus that it disinfects at the same time. Um, it obviously, to disinfect, needs to be used again now that the surface is clean. So I'm not gonna do that right now because it's like three in the morning and I can't sleep. So I just decided to film this. But yeah, this cleaner smells nice. It works well. And if you're not trying to disinfect and just trying to clean something up really quickly, you would not need to use even close to as much as I did. So yeah. So my sink is nice and shiny and clean, and I'm very happy with this product. So I would say if you've never tried it before and you're interested, it is definitely worth buying. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.